He's in their home white with the maroon uh, letters and numbers, and it is Central Arkansas on their road black with the white letters and numbers. Darius Hall, the junior, the transfer, who played at both Arkansas and DePaul, and a steal right off the bat. Tyrese boots Radford into the front court. Aggie shoot to the basket to our right in front of the Central Arkansas bench. Aggies came in. Nearly 11 steals per game. They force 19 turnovers and are scoring 21 off those turnovers. Boots layup is no good. Offensive rebound. Henderson bobbles, recovers, pinballs, gets it back right side of the lane. Kick to Obaski. Five on the shot clock. Drives the right baseline. Kick out towards Marcus Williams. The bounce pass is stolen by Colin Cooper. Cooper has it taken away by Boots. Now Williams, loop ahead. Obasiki on the left wing, stop and go. Little step through, and it's off the heel. Two free throws for Obasiki. No hesitation whatsoever on Mo's part. And again, I think he only has three turnovers for the, 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 in the games that he's played so far. Mm -hmm. But for a freshman to recognize that, turn down the three, head fake, get into the lane, and finish strong with the, the ability to draw a foul. I mean, that's a mature play. This is the first free throw. For Central Arkansas, it will be Colin Cooper who picks up that foul as a 6'2 sophomore averaging 10 per game. Cameron Hunter, a 6'3 freshman averaging 12 per game. Jared Chatham, 6'8 senior from Los Angeles as Obaski misses both. Ebay Clintman is the A-Sun Newcomer of the Week. He went 15-6-6 six and six in a win over Hendricks. And then Darius Hall is the 6'7 junior as the ball right now. The Arkansas and DePaul transfer. On the left wing, Clintman feeds Hall and another steal for the Aggies. That is three turnovers on the three possessions for Central Arkansas. Still scoreless. Crossover. Gordon down the right lane line. Pocket pass. Henderson with the power dribble and the power jam. I like him just hesitating there. Let the defense fly by. Just load up and jam. Just a terrific pocket pass. 2-0 Texas A&M. We're a minute and a half. In here at Reed Arena. Cooper. Last game, he had 12 and 4 against Arkansas State. And another steal, this one by Gordon. That's number 20 on the year. Right corner, Marcus Williams. Jab step, dribble, skip pass, ball fake into left corner. Gordon attacks on the left wing. High off the window with the left hand. Count it 4 0, Texas AM. Timeout, Anthony Boone in Central Arkansas. Well, you love the little scoop shot. Again, a. a, a alerted that he's going to be taking a charge if he's not under control. He did a good job of finishing there. But defense, you talk about relentless defense right there. The turnovers they've created has been the starting point of this game that you want to continue. Four turnovers have become four points on three steals. I've said this before. There's one thing to run your offense and, and be looking for options in your offense. You, you work on it every day. What happens now is you're worried about just taking care of the basketball. You're not worried about being a threat. You're, you're, the threat is you're going to lose the basketball, which A&M has forced that mentality to start this game. But they don't gamble defensively, John. No, they're very, very mm -hmm. good. You talk about defensive position and, and hands where they need to be, very good at it. Cameron Hunter brings the ball into the front court. He's a freshman from Bryant, Arkansas. 12 points, four rebounds, two and a half assists. Loses the basketball, but it's picked up by Cooper in front of the Aggie bench. Swiped by Marcus Williams as Hall went by him. Down the right lane line. Hook and home for Marcus Williams. Another turnover, another two. Six nothing, Texas A&M. We talked about how your offense is getting in the paint. It's not postmen. It's turning them over and going and laying it up. All six points off turnovers. All six points, paint points. Clintman, foul line extended right side. Shooting to the basket to our left. Shot clock single digits. Hall stops and fires a 13-footer and hits. 13 points, nearly seven rebounds per game for Darius Hall. He's a good athlete. You saw him warming up. You saw the stats about his uh, his game. He's, he's an all-around player. They need him to do well. When he was a Razor back in the 17-18 season, he had 13-7 and seven against the Aggies. Double team on Obasiki near center court in that center jump circle. Bounce pass to Williams on the left side. Marcus goes to work. 6-2 Aggies, three minutes in. Marcus Williams, step back from the left elbow. Shot is no good, and it's rebounded by Cooper. Averages two boards a game on the left wing. Hunter, Hall, over Williams, and finger rolls at home. He has all four of Central Arkansas's points. Smart to play through him. He's a heady guy. He's capable. He's a tough matchup. 6-4 after the Aggies scored the first six. Central Arkansas at the next four. 16-30 to play in the first half. Obasiki, high post right side. It's Ethan Henderson.
Dribbles to his left through the key to Williams. Foul line extended three in the air. Is no good, and battle for the rebound. Radford had it, touched it last, goes over the end line, Central Arkansas basketball. Wade Taylor the fourth for Marcus Williams. A uh, great timeout uh, by Central Arkansas to just kind of get their composure after the, the string of turnovers to start the game. They've, came, they've come back with a more understanding of what they're facing and uh, taking care of the basketball better. Two for two from the floor. That's because they turned it over the first four times that they had it. 6-4, Texas A&M. Taylor picking up Cooper in the backcourt. Angles to the left side using a Hall screen that Taylor goes under. Hall moving to the high post. It gets the pass. Now Radford takes him. Clintman, the Swede, top of the arc. To the left elbow. Shy of the elbow. The jumper is true, and we're tied at six. Into the front court. Wade Taylor all the way to the hoop. Left the layup short on the right side, rebounded by Hall. He'll dribble into the front court, picked up by Taylor, tries to poke away from behind to Cooper in front of the Aggie bench. Backs his way to the timeline on the right side of the floor. Using a Chatham screen, top of the arc on the left wing. Clinton for three. Hits, and that's nine straight for Central Arkansas. A 9-6 lead on Texas A&M. As out of control as they looked in the first couple of minutes, they have weathered that and come back uh, very efficient. Now the Aggies trail for the first time tonight. 9-6. Henderson a screen for Taylor. Goes to his right. To the short corner. Now Gordon to tie. Left wing three is way too strong, and it's rebounded by Hunter. Cameron Hunter jump pass to Cooper. Front court left side. In transition, the three. Too strong. Rebound. Obaski taps it to himself, but into the backcourt too far. Cooper the other way. Three in transition. Straight away. 12-6. 12, 12 in a row for Central Arkansas. And again, the inability to get a rebound. Playing with poise right now, Central Ar uh, Arkansas is uh, not afraid to shoot that shot. Five for six, second chance points there. 12-6, Bears. Henderson, underhand scoop to Taylor. Taylor, nearly poked from behind. Foul line extended, Radford into the right corner. Jab step, Obasiki. Dribbles to his left, gets into the paint, keeps going. Rolls all the way around and out rebounded by Hall. 12 6 Central Arkansas. 12 in a row for the Bears. Cooper trying to add and does. 15 0 run by the Bears. Cooper's second three. No, one of the things that AM has had some tough luck penetration, but they have the dribble drive. It's, ba it's open. It's a basically a, a freed up uh, post situation. Just got to finish. Taylor has to go back to the center jump circle to pick up that ball. 14 minutes to play, Aggies down 9, 15-6. Obasiki, jab step in the right corner, drives the right baseline, spins, fires a fadeaway, hits the side of the backboard. Henderson had it, lost it, loose on the deck, falling all over one another, and partner, Texas A&M Athletics. Hassan Diara, Hayden Hefner, Wade Taylor the fourth, Quentin Jackson, Henry Coleman the third on the floor defensively for the Aggies after the shot clock violation. Clintman with a hop step, guarded by Hefner. Foul line extended, Cooper's already hit two threes. They average six threes a game. Three for four are the Bears early on. 15 straight for them. Left corner three, make it 18 straight after Cameron Hunter buries his 13th three of the year. Great patience on the part of Central Arkansas. Just made one more pass, uncovered in the corner. Seven of eight from the floor are the Bears. The Aggies are three for 10. And they've gone four and a half minutes between points. Inside for Coleman. It's deflected and stolen. Clintman on the left wing. Hunter to Clintman, left side of the floor, well beyond the arc. Guarded by Hefner. Crosses over. Now back to his right. Goes over the hall screen, down the right lane line. Lob to Chatham. Hits the heel. Rebounded by Q. Averages three boards per game. Team leading 12.3 per contest. Diara fakes the three into the paint. To the trailer, Hefner. Hefner splits two. Has the shot blocked. Hall can jump now. He was planted right under the goal. From the right elbow, the jumper no good after knocking over Diara. Q, a blocking foul by Darius Hall in the backcourts. A great job by Q. Once somebody pressures you like that and kind of intimidates you, quick enough to get his head and shoulders by him and uh, continue down the floor to draw the foul. Uh, Central, uh, Central Arkansas is feeling it around, trying to pick him up full court pressure that time. Masai Oluwakari has checked in, a 6'5 sophomore from Brooklyn. 18-6 is the Bears' lead on the Aggies. 18 straight as the Aggies have gone five minutes since taking the 6-0 lead. Foul line extended right side, Q behind the back. Loses it, gets it back. Coleman, half the shot clock is gone. 
at the top of the arc. Now an underhand toss to Q. In between the circles is Quinton Jackson. Top of the arc, lob inside for Coleman. Coleman brought it down, goes back up, fouled by Chatham, and Henry Coleman earns two free throws. That's the beauty of Henry Coleman. Just the size, 6'8", strong. Uh, it, it's not a bailout, but it's somebody you can go to. Throw it high, let him go get it. And I love the fact that he's so composed in the, in the uh, lane. He doesn't try to force it. He'll gather himself. He knows he's a big guy with a presence there. And he takes his time and goes up with it strong. And, and not going to deflect it from The him. Aggies like to use that channel, as they call it, the middle. I've heard it referred to as a tunnel in the past. But Jackson to Coleman in there hits the first free throw. That's one way you stop a drought, 18 straight for Central Arkansas. Have we Get talked about that before, about playing yeah. inside out when you have a little bit of a drought? <laughs> yes. I think so. Yes, we have. What am I going to do in the future when I work with a guard? <laughs> <laughs> I'm working with a post. Yeah, there you go. A little bit, of, maybe a little bias there somewhere. 18 to eight. Chatham underneath has a shot blocked by Henry Coleman the third into the front court. Taylor drops for Diara, lays it up right side too strong. Ratford can't get it. Taken away by Olua Carey into the front court with Chatham. Stops at the right elbow. Fires too strong. Rebound. Radford kept alive to Coleman. Looping pass out to Diara. Diara attacks on the right wing. Lobbed it for. Quentin Jackson deflected into the right corner, saved by Central Arkansas. Up 18-8 are the Bears. Was we'll trying to lob, got a little alley-oop, but uh, the alley-oop was blocked like it was a shot. High post, Jackson Baker. Baker above foul line extended. Clintman gives back to Baker on the right wing. Catch and shoot, off the heel. Offensive rebound, inside, all alone, missing the dunk, but the Aggies cannot get the ball. High off the window, no good. Another offensive rebound. Play pace, half court. When they overplay like that, there's going to be opportunities to put the ball on the floor and get them in the paint. Put two point guards together in Williams and Taylor right now, along with Jackson Cash. Baseline by Radford, and he rams it home. Well, you can do that. How about backdoor cut on the baseline? Great pass. Marcus Williams does a great job of seeing the floor. Aggies were 0 for their last nine from the floor. The two points prior to that came from the free throw line. Catch and shoot Baker. Right corner three is good. Jackson Baker. Gives Central Arkansas a 21 to 10 lead on Texas A&M, 1040 to play in the first. Williams, Taylor, Jackson, Radford, Cash for Texas A&M. Radford, right side, attacks, bumped, dumps inside. Quentin Jackson underneath the basket, out to Williams. Williams fakes the three, dribbles to the left wing. Q's going to fire three left side. Too strong. Cash, offensive rebound to Q, Q to the basket, Q scores. Well, letting him play, got body on him. He, good thing he played it tough, made it anyway. 21-12, the Cash giving the Aggies second chance points. We're halfway through the first half, and the Aggies down 21-12. Clintman, high on the left wing to Hunter. Jackson Baker, high post, guarded by Williams, turns and faces the basket. Now it's Clintman on the left wing, gets inside the arc. At the free throw line, Ola carry in the paint. On the right side, tough catch and shoot right side, but it does not matter for Cameron Hunter. That pass down around his shoe tops. Drills the right wing three, 24-12. Central Arkansas doubling up the Aggies. You're catching them on a night. They are hot from three. Q, jab step, foul line extended right side. Stays beyond the arc, crosses over, gets into the paint. Bumps, step through, scoop, foul, Q to the line. When you do pressure, you do have the ability to leave gaps like that. And if there's a guy that can take advantage of that, that's Quentin. I love the fact that he has that ability to get up in the air and hang. And he can also use the glass with either hand and uh, did a good job of drawing that foul. Central Arkansas came in averaging six threes in 22 attempts per game. They're six for eight in the early going, and Q misses a free throw. So they're shooting 27%. For the, for the year from three and tonight. 67 in the early going. <laughs> Wade Taylor leaves. Andre Gordon comes in. And Colin Cooper will check in. And he'll check in for Cameron Hunter. Cooper's been the catalyst. They, I think they brought him in uh, after that timeout and, and did a really good job of settling them down. Second of the two free throws for Quentin Jackson. And he gets the second to fall. 24-13. Central Arkansas, the 11-point lead, 9.20 to play in the first half. Cooper just checked in, picked up by Marcus Williams in the backcourt, angles to the right side. Shooting to the basket to our left in front of the Aggie bench. Cooper up top. Kyle Lude into the paint, runs over Marcus Williams, and 
Darius Hall runs the left baseline, lays it in. He's got six, 26-13. Central Arkansas, crossover by Williams. Knocked free, Kai Alude into the backcourt. Q is there. Q on the left wing, Radford three. Caroms off, cash an offensive rebound. Q fakes the three, shuffles a pass to Williams, buries the three, foul line extended right side, Marcus Williams. He's got five, 26-16, Central Arkansas. Cooper, above foul line extended on the left side. Up top to Olawakari, guarded by Radford. Shy of the left elbow, bounce into the paint, double team develops, laid up, no good. Andre Gordon with the rebound for Texas A&M after the Kyalude miss. Dre, stop and go, down the right lane line, bumped, pass inside, is stolen. And then a foul in the backcourt by Aaron Cash. They had a, a big man guarding Andre. Uh, smart realization, there's no way that he can guard him. Got his head down and went into the lane trying to force a shot up, didn't get the call. Cash will leave, Coleman will come in. And now the Aggies following it will be a backcourt inbound. So Radford up top, Williams, Gordon, then Coleman and Jackson. In the half court, uh, little zone press. 26-16, Central Arkansas with the ball and the lead. Eight minutes to play, first half. Hall double teamed. Kyalude up top, Cooper. Catch and shoot for three. Off the front of the rim, off the side of the rim, and Marcus Williams with the rebound. Dribbles middle of the floor into the front court to Gordon. Behind him, nice adjustment by Dre. Gets into the paint from right to left, spins, fires, bounces in for his first, excuse me, for his second field goal. He's got four, Aggies down 26-18. Strong player got bumped on the elbow, didn't grimace, but it uh, got a good bounce in the hole. On the left side, Olawa Carey. Dribbles to his right to the free throw line. Out to Cooper, he's above the free center jump circle. Hall coming out, guarded by Radford. Half the shot clock is gone. Cooper above the Lone Star logo at half court. High pass, Kylie. Jab step straight away on Coleman. Pushes off down the left lane line. Extra step gets wedged. Possession arrow two, arrow two, Central Arkansas. Shot clock to 20 and a right baseline inbound. Darius Hall guarded by Radford. Coleman comes over to double team. Hall's got to go to the wing. Kyalude by the right elbow. Loops back out to Cooper. Wants to set a screen. Does not use it. Slides through the Lone Star logo to his left. Seven to shoot. Cooper inside. Stolen by Gordon to Radford. Front court. Dre left wing. Dre eyes the three. Straight away Q. Q jab step. Three in the air. Oh, he swished it. Did Q. He's got six. 26-21. Central Arkansas's lead sliced to five. Looping pass to Clintman in the front court. Back in the game is the freshman from Sweden. Bounce up top. Kyalude gives back to Clintman. Now on the right side of the floor. Foul line extended beyond the arc. Looks inside. Up top, Cameron Hunter. Run at by Q. In traffic. Left his feet. Lost it. Run out. Q all alone. Ha <laughs> ho! In honor of... Aggies three turnovers. Central Arkansas no points off that, but... The Bears are 6 of 9 beyond the arc, 10 of 20 from the floor in this first half, and now a 26-23 lead. The Aggies have scored 10 straight. They were down 26-13, now down 26-23. Clintman in the left corner, guarded by Q. Tries to dribble away from him, left-handed dribble. Q gets in and forced to travel on Clintman. Boy, he could not... It, Q was his shadow there defensively. Yeah, you, you know, and I know we're talking about the official, they're, they're letting the play. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's a lot of uh, bumping going on, but I'm, mean, you know, not necessarily fouls. It's just a lot of physical contact happening right now. Williams, Radford, Coleman, Jackson, Gordon for the Aggies. Shooting to the basket to our right in front of the Central Arkansas bench. The weave in between the circles. Jab step by Williams down the left lane line, all the way to the hoop with the right hand scoop. Score a chance to tie this game from the line. That is our Ford drive of the game. Brought to you by your Texas Ford dealers. Ford is the best in Texas. So we've seen Marcus Williams for a little bit more than a semester, right? Uh, he's really a, a, an impressive young man as far as what he's capable of doing. Defensively, he's getting better and better, but offensively, he's got things that you can't teach. That left-handed little flip as he finishes that free throw right there. Uh, he's a talented guy, especially off the dribble, and we know he can shoot the three also. See, and that's not a selfish move. That was no. there for him, and he's got that green light. He does. And, again, and his composure is he just plays, too. Tied at 26. 13 straight for the Aggies after the three-point play. 
Hook pass. Clintman, three, right wing. Too strong. Caroms right to Andre Gordon. Now Boots, front court. Jump pass to the right side. Coleman saves, lobs back. Williams taps to himself. Now Gordon in transition three. Aggies lead on the Dre Trey. Unselfish play. Great save by Coleman. 29-26, seven for Gordon. Just a different shooter this year. He is 20 of 38 beyond the arc this year. He came in over 50%. Cooper, below the Lone Star logo, out towards half court. Hall puts out the hip, illegal screen. Clintman drives the left baseline, passes along the baseline, lost, out of bounds. Great rotation. Again, everybody's connected in the half court defense. Ball moves. Your defender moves. You got to see ball, you man. Rotation was great. He had nowhere to go with it because the team defensively was so coordinated as far as the movement when the basketball moved. I dare say that one of the reasons why Gordon has seven, we look at the offense, is the two rebounds since he has come in. Aggies have the 29-26 lead on the 16-0 run. They have turned a 13-point deficit into a three-point lead with 4.30 to play in this first half. Williams, top of the arc, skips. Now straight away Q. Q backs away. Now goes to work. Five on the shot clock. The three skids off the left side of the rim to Boots. He's going to attack from the left side. Spin, baseline, hits the side of the backboard. Outlets Cameron Hunter on the right side into the front court. Looking for a trailer. Picks up the dribble. Whips a pass stolen by Marcus Williams. Front court is Williams. A little hop step into the paint. Gives to Q. Power dribble to the basket. Lays it up and in. Left side. Quinton Jackson has 10. First in double figures. Aggies up 31-26. And we said he's unselfish and he finds the open man. Hall jab step on the left wing after the cross court pass and a fat Cameron Hunter. Ebay Clintman. And the inbound to Jared Chatham. Hunter double teamed by Coleman and Radford. Clintman saves in the left corner. Skip pass across to Cooper. Jump pass to Darius Hall. The top of the arc. Just inside the arc. The 18-footer off the heel. Coleman left a little early, but still comes up with the rebound. Looping up ahead for Boots. Nice catch in traffic to Gordon in the left corner. Gordon goes up top. Williams extra pass to Q. Q's going to attack on the right wing. Go up. Left it short. He kind of changed hands as he had that a shot block attempt and left it just a tad short. Hall skips to Cooper on the right side. Cooper drives along the right baseline. Stops shy of the short corner out to Hall on the right wing high on that right wing in front of Buzz Williams 310 left little step through Hall catching the left corner the three by Hunter no good and fouled by Henry Coleman on the contest three free throws for eBay Clintman you know and, and that's one of the deals is the way they play defense everybody's connected and it, it, and it, you could be guarding the five if you're if you're a point guard you could be guarding the five because we rotation is rotation you got to get to shooters Henry did a great job of leaving the post there to go get a shooter in the corner. But you got to be under control enough. Hand up, you know, chop your feet, come to a jump stop, but you cannot lean into him. And it's easier said than done because you're trying to get there. And they've shot threes tonight. Right. I said, Clinton, it's Cameron Hunter who took that three. And the left-hander's first free throw is good. 73% coming in. Seven points. He hit two threes. Just my bias. I don't want anybody going to the line to shoot three, especially a left-hander. Two of two. Ethan Henderson for Henry Coleman III. I'm not saying all left-handed people can make free throws, but if they have nice form, mm -hmm. it looks pretty sweet. We've talked about left-handed swings in baseball too, haven't That's we? That's right. In That's the past. It. Three for three. Nine for Cameron Hunter at 19 against BMI. That stops the Aggie run. The 18-0 run. It's 31-29. How about 18-0 run? 18 Golly. That was after Central Arkansas 16-0 run. 15-0 run in the. Don't you love basketball? <laughs> That's the way it is. The day, you, the day I figure it out. <laughs> Gordon got past Hall. Little floater right side of the baseline. A little too strong off the left side of the rim and rebounded by Hall. Leads this team with seven boards per game. And that's the best in his career, this rebound. In the left corner, catch and shoot Cooper. Off the right side of the rim, in traffic. Q comes away with the basketball. Henderson on his left, boots on his right, goes behind his back at half court. Gives to Marcus Williams, foul line extended left side. He's beyond the arc in front of the UCA bench. To the free throw line, Gordon, catch and shoot right wing. Too strong, and it's going to go out of bounds. Boy, I love him when he squares up like that. I thought that was going to be drained, but uh, 
just way strong, didn't draw anything. Williams was bidding for his fourth assist in this first half. Pressure in the backcourt, it's Radford at the top of this, one, two, two, then Williams and Gordon, and then Henderson and Jackson. And defensively, Aggies up 31-29 with 2.05 to play in this first half. A hold by Andre Gordon on the pass to the high post to Hall. Dre's first, Texas A&M's fourth. Got Ethan Henderson in for Henry giving him a blow. Q will sit as Manny Obaski comes in. And Quinton sits with 10 points, two rebounds. And that's a quiet 10, wasn't it? Yeah. And he's rarely quiet. <laughs> on both ends Maybe of the Maybe we're floor. just so used to it now, it's just quiet. <laughs> Hall, high post, give back, good down the lane, runs right over, offensive foul. Ethan Henderson getting a pair of socks. Did a great job of establishing himself outside that circle, that half circle down there. He took it, took it like a man because he was coming full speed. Two on Hall. And Jackson Baker will check in. And we'll do it for Darius Hall. And now Eddie Kyalud will come in for Kyle Cooper. Hey, a little full court pressure here. Pressure on the ball, inbounding it, so it's going to be some type of zone. Clintman turns his back on Obasaki. Now Williams. Kyalud will retreat as Williams comes into the front court, middle of the floor. 145 to play, first half. High post left side. It's Henderson. Back to the basket. Underhand, spin, paint with the left hand, scoop, and a score by Tyrese Radford. Boots has four to Wells Fargo between the baselines. Wells Fargo is the official bank of Texas A&M Athletics, 33-29. Aggies by four, Hunter. Hands off Kyalu. Baker in between the circles, turns and faces the basket, dribbles to his left. Keeps going to the left corner. Skip pass, Hunter, three, foul line extended. Swish. Cameron Hunter has three threes and three free throws, giving him a dozen points, 33-32 Aggies. Williams at the top of the arc, timeout. Aggies track not just this offensive possession, they track an after timeout as Boots all the way to the basket, this time with the right hand, left it short. They track now what they do defensively mm -hmm. after the timeout. So that was just a cleared middle for Boots. They'll, they'll do that again, just came up short. 33-32 is the A&M lead, but it's Central Arkansas with the basketball. Crossover Kyalude into the paint. And a driving layup from the left side. There's the middle penetration. Exactly. Gives Central Arkansas the lead. 34-33 Bears, 30 seconds left. Aggies have the ball, Williams between the legs. Now to Obasaki. Gordon, foul line extended, closer to the sideline on the left side of the floor. Crosses over, goes behind the back, backs out beyond the arc, now just below the center jump circle. Using a Henderson screen to his left. Now in his wake, goes to his right. Eight on the shot clock, crossover down the right lane line, a little reach in, underhand tap, spin, Obasaki, left hand off the window, followed by Boots, bounces off the rim, rebound, Kyalude, five seconds left, he lost it. Boots is gonna go in uncontested with the dunk. It's like Kyalude lost a tire. It passed to Marcus Williams. 35-34 Aggies, second half has begun. And Q goes above foul line, extended right side. Boots attacks into the paint. Goes to the left side of that lane. Now Q drives the right baseline. Q goes up and lays it in. He got to a spot and just rose higher than everyone else. He's got a dozen. Again, good ball reversal uh, from one side to the next. Created that angle. 37-34 is the Aggie lead on Central Arkansas. Cameron Hunter, 12 points in the first half. Darius Hall picked up two personal fouls and sat the latter part of that first half. The second was a charge. Radford on him as he picks up the dribble. Foul line extended, backdoor cut. Hunter goes to the left side. Cooper in the paint. Chatham with a catch off the heel and through. So each team with the buckets on their first possessions. And that's the first points for Jared Chatham. 37-36, Texas A&M. Williams at the top of the arc. Spins down the left lane line, stops, spins, lost it, regains control. Entry pass for Coleman, knock free, give inside. Coleman a flyby by Hall, grabbed the rim. Coleman let him fly by, lays it in. His first field goal to go with two free throws. He's got four. Aggies lead by three, 39-36. Again, Marcus Williams twice to him. He was trying to get him the ball the entire time, like playing through the post. Four assists now for Marcus Williams. Minute and a half into... Half number two, Aggies up 39-36, straightaway Hall. Both foul line extended, left side Hunter. 
Hunter has three threes. Loop to Cooper. And a right corner three by Cooper. He now has three threes. And we're tied at 39. Eight of 13 is Central Arkansas beyond the arc. It's two guys from Central Arkansas with three, at least three threes. Yep. The other one is Clintman has hit a three. Down the left lane line. Gordon spins, kick out. Williams fly by by Hall. Now shuffle out to Q. Corner three right side, no good. Follows his own. Taps to Radford. Boots off balance on the deck. Falls on, fallen on by Colin Cooper. Jump ball, possession arrow to the Bears. Yeah, he ended up starting out with the possession to start the half, so this goes back and forth. So their opportunity looks like AM might pick him up in that uh, the diamond 1 2 2 with Quentin. I, I like uh, Jackson. When they set that up, I like him as, as much as anybody. But then you, you he's going to force him into either double team by. Andre Gordon or Marcus Williams, that's pretty formidable right there. He got a piece of it. He did get a piece, and it is bumped out of bounds. And he's so quick, and he's long. I mean, he, his anticipation skill, he's not right up on you. You try, to throw, you try that lollipop pass. Well, he's such a good athlete, he can get a piece of it. So it turned right back over. Tied at 39. 17.45 to play. Skip right side. Williams behind the back. Spin move off the glass. Fouled. It would not fall. But Marcus Williams earns a couple of free throws. Yes, there's, there's, there's people that can spin, and there's people that can spin. <laughs> he has that. He gets you going one direction, and he can go right or left, and he gets around as quick with his back spinning it, and then he's under control and, 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 and can still do something with it. That's the key, is right. it not? The under control part, first free throw. Heel and through. Not the ideal way to draw up a free throw, but I will take that. <laughs> back. Back of the rim, straight up and down. Another coming. Hits. He's in double figures with 10. Eighth time this season. 41-39 a and Looping pass. This one deflected by Radford. Hall into the front court. Picked up by Boots. Hall. Still between the circles. Dribbles right side. Picks up that dribble. Needs some help. Cooper comes and gets the basketball. Goes to Hall on the right wing. Catch and shoot for three. Air mailed it. Rebound. Andre Gordon. Dre's third board. Eyed the three in transition. Backs out beyond the arc. High on the right wing. Now goes to work. Spin. Right side of the lane. Pocket pass to Q. Pinballs. And on the ground is Chatham. Hunter. Front court. Right side for Central Arkansas. 41-39. Aggies by two. Central Arkansas with the basketball. Hunter takes the handoff by Chatham. Q guards him He's in front of the official scorer's table. Left side of the floor, now to the top of the arc. Drives on Gordon down the left lane line. Bank shot's no good. Dre, another board. Up the right side, Q. Q's going to attack over Cooper. Blocked from behind by Cameron Hunter. Aggies will keep it. 16.35 to play in the second. Aggies up 41-39. No, that's, that's that pace that we're talking about. It's not like an out-of-control break, but, you know, we're quick, and uh, multiple people can put it on the floor and attack. Uh, you got to do that. Williams, left baseline to Ranford beyond the arc on the left wing. Now Coleman. Little swim move. Marcus Williams straight away for three. In and out, no good. Boots offensive rebound, goes up and he's fouled. He got the rebound underneath the basket and had to go up on the left side. And the third foul on Darius Hall and Tyrese Ranford to the line. That's a six, seven, he was, he was bookend with the six, seven and a six, eight, he's six, two. And he went up between those two. That's how explosive he is. Uh, the ball kind of came to his in, in his direction, but he got when he gets hand on, he's mm. going to come down with it. And the left-hander's first free throw. Off the heel, off the front of the rim, and no good. His first free throw, 62% coming in. What did I say about left-handers? I mean, it looked good. Yeah. It, it wasn't you know, the result you wanted, exactly. but it looked good. Yeah, let's see here. He'll get another one. Yeah. Off the heel, Dre knocks it out of the hands of Darius Hall. The Aggies have come up empty. Missing two more free throws. 41-39. Darius Hall into the front court. And Q's got him and nearly stolen. Hall, Cooper, catch and shoot, right corner. Off the heel, no good. Boots in traffic, lost it. Going up, Chatham bumped by Coleman. To the line goes Jared Chatham. Tyrese is 
mad at himself. Had a cup, an opportunity at the free throw line, and then had an opportunity to come up with that rebound just a little bit too aggressive, bumping into his teammate, kind of popped loose. Uh, very fortuitous to be there to catch it. Got a foul now, they get to go to the line. Chatham is two for four this season from the line for his career, 69% free throw shooter. How many lefties do we have? <laughs> of course, I bring that up, and their lefties are making them, and our <laughs> lefties aren't. All three of Chatham's points have come in the second half. Second off the heel, cue the rebound. Aggies have the 41-40 lead with the ball. Four minutes into our second half. Williams on the right side, hands off to Gordon in front of the Aggie bench. Crossover dribble down the left lane line, stops, spins, fires, left that one short, knocked free. Darius Hall with the rebound. Dre with that move that beat Auburn earlier this year. Pass to the wing. Here, it's here. Kentucky beat Missouri 83-56. Tennessee and Alabama tipping off. Williams pressure in the backcourt to Jackson, thrown away at half court. Picked up by Chatham. Maggie's had three turnovers in the first half. That's their second of the second half. Cooper down the left lane line. Wrap pass inside for Chatham. Lost it on the deck. Coleman and Chatham tie up Aggie basketball with the possession arrow. It's caught A&M a little bit off guard. They've showed that full court pressure look, but as soon as you've inbound it, then they just fall back and just, you know, ba basically just fall back into a man-to-man. -man. Well, that time they showed the, the full court pressure, and it was full court pressure, and A&M won the line to attack it. Not a bad thing, though, is it, John, in the way of you want to see things like this before conference play? Ex you know, exactly, because this, this is one of those kind of things that as adjustments go, you're having to do it on the fly because there hadn't been a lot of scouting on this game. Wade Taylor of the fourth tells everyone, I got it. <laughs> As Radford came back for the ball. Four along with Marcus Williams. Coleman, boots, cue, catch, shoot, foul line extended left side. Despite the gooseneck, it came up shorts. Aggies one point lead, 41-40. 15 minutes to play in the second half. Clintman, in front of his head coach, Anthony Boone, shooting to the basket to our right. Black uniforms, white letters and numbers, purple down the sides. Step back, fade away from 13, shot at 12. Q up ahead, Boots Radford with Clintman back. Stays on the right side of the lane, now backs out beyond the arc. Gives it Williams, he's got a head of steam down the right lane line, across the lane to Q, lays it in left side. 14 for him, Aggies up 43-40. Another great assist by Marcus. Number five for him. On the right side, Hall, ball fake, drives on Coleman, absorbs contact, stripped by Radford, out of bounds, over the right lane line. Now Aaron Cash will check in for Henry Coleman the third. Both teams have played half court man, uh, mixed a little full court pressure, no zone whatsoever, a and man, man in this. Right baseline inbound. Lobbed out to Darius Hall. Boots Radford guards him. Still between the circles, now uses the dribble. Crosses over, carry. Not even close. Tried to clear this, I mean, went one for him at the top of the circle. I don't know, I, I don't know much about what he can do with ball one-on-one -on -one situation, but I don't like the odds of him beating not Tyrese. boots. <laughs> Not boots. No. One on one in the middle of the floor. Somebody else? Yeah. Boots? No. The inbound by boots into the backcourt. Williams. 43 40, Texas AM. Guarded by Cooper as he comes across the timeline. High post right side, Radford. Just inside the arc. Deep jumper off the heel, no good. And it's rebounded by Olawa Carey. Masai Olawa Carey with the board. Aggies still the three point lead. 13 50 to play in this second half. Cameron Hunter, 12 in the first half. He's above the Lone Star logo. Hands off to Cooper. Radford picks him up. Rolls along the arc from left to right. Ola will carry with seven on the shot clock. Hands off to Clintman. Clintman above foul line extended. Four to shoot, three to shoot. Does over Taylor. And as he goes up, the foul by Wade Taylor. Three free throws for Clintman. Ill-advised. It was going to be a rush shot anyway. Just a little bit of a reach in on his way up with the shot. Wasn't much of a foul, but you're going to call it when it's out there in front of everybody. We talk so much about time and score on the offensive end. You have to know it on the defensive end, where the ball is, 
how much time is left and what kind of shot it's going to be. Clinton's first free throw rolls out. So another missed free throw, and you will say you'll take it, but don't want to send somebody to the line with three free throws. No, not in a three-point game. 13-34 to play, 43-40. Clinton's second is good. That one nestled home. Clinton's first point of the second half. He's got six. Boots leaves. Mo comes in. Manny Obasaki. I'm going to hand it to Central Arkansas for being as poised as they are. Not that I don't anticipate them coming in here and playing a heady basketball game, but there's been ebb and flow in this. They start the second half. Uh, they've come out here and done what they need to do to stay in this. Mates the second and third of three, one-point game. Q attacks right baseline. Oh, with the hammer, Q! Oh, he cocked that back and just unloaded through the rim. 45-42. I think that surprised everybody except Q. I want that poster. Three-point game. Clintman, jump pass, threw it away from Hunter. He got into the paint. That was two passes. Inbound pass to midcourt. Q had sprint all the way to the corner. One more pass, two guys back. He put it on the floor. And one dribble. <laughs> That's the economy of use of passing and dribbling. Two passes and one dribble dunk. His 16 points are no longer quiet. <laughs> <laughs> it's safe to say that now. 13 minutes left. Aggies up 45-42. Down the right lane line, fade away Marcus Williams. And that floater falls for Williams. He's got a dozen. Aggies 47, Central Arkansas 42. Jackson Baker pitch and catch with Cameron Hunter. On the left side beyond the arc is Cooper. Feed Chatham on the left side of the lane. Baker all alone on the right side for three. Hits his second three. 47-45, Aggies by two. Williams stop and go. Backdoor pass. Q in traffic. Blocked, fouled to the line. Goes Q. Q likes that baseline. It's a tough pass sometimes because of that angle. Um, you, there's very The margin for error is very limited there, especially in a crowd. But if anybody can come up with it in kind of a little bounce pass quick to him, he will. And as you've always explained, because you want these right here. That's exactly right. He knows it better than anybody. Two free throws for Q. Hits the first. Two of three from the lock. 17 points for him. It was on Diara for the Aggies. We always, you, you want certain guys to have it in their hand. Chuck Mitchell was one. We yep. always wanted to have his yep. hands at the line. Well, we, we learned early Q's the guy we want. Donald Sloan. Donald Sloan, obviously. <laughs> And Q matches a season high at 18 in the win against Notre Dame. He's got 18 tonight, 49-45. So Diara, Jackson, Obasaki, Taylor, and Cash defensively for the Aggies. Diara is the one up top picking up Cooper. Off arm to ward off Diara. Gets across the timeline left side using a Baker screen. Left wing three is good by Masai Oluwakari. His first points, 49-48, crossover, Taylor, right elbow, jumper from there, off the heel, skids towards the Aggie bench, where it's picked up by Eddie Kailud. 49-48, Aggies by one, Baker can change that. That three is way too strong, and a push off Kailud. Q inbounds to Diara with Taylor, all three of them in the backcourt, deflected basketball, but Q's got it. Could be a broken floor on the left wing. Three, Wade. Too strong, battle, offensive rebound, Aaron Cash, kick out to Q. Q down the left lane line, all the way. With the left hand, he's got 20. New season high, 51-48. And he was looking to pass when he got into the paint. Doing a better job of not getting that charge. He's, he's done that in the last three games, been doing a lot better, staying under control. Now he guards Hunter in the right corner, Baker. Skip pass, Cooper, three's no good from the left wing. Hassan Diara, tough rebound, nearly going out of bounds, saves to Taylor in front of the UCA bench. Front court, Taylor, burst to speed, down the right lane line, all the way to the hoop, knocked out of his hands. Aggies will keep it with 22 to shoots. Two point guards, uh, the pass in the basketball. I mean, uh, Hassan, you know, a pretty tough pass to make, got a lot of pressure. Uh, One-handed sling to, to Wade Taylor, almost fumbled it a little bit, but two guys that really know how to handle the basketball and came up with it. 
The inbound to Hefner on the right wing. Out to Aaron Cash. Keeps the dribble alive. Hands off to Hefner in front of the Aggie bench. Right side of the floor. Miss beyond match the arc. galore here. Taylor, top of the arc. Wade, stop and go. Crossover. Goes back down the left lane line, and he is fouled on the drive. Kyalude is third. So we're talking about, you know, if, you, if it's positionless and you and there's switches, they occur. Well, you you got a six-eight guard and a, you know six-footer, and uh, they just clear the side, take him to the hole. He can't stay in front of them. Wade Taylor, the fourth to the line, has not scored tonight. SEC Freshman of the Week two weeks ago. And the first free throw is good. 19 at Oregon State. and has been, Buzz has been making sure they pick him up after made uh, field goals or free throws to kind of just slow him down. This is the second. And a deep carom, Kyalude into the front court. Uh, you hold your breath when he dribbles. <laughs> Hunter. 52-48 Aggies, four-point lead. Hunter, spin move into the left corner. Baker catch and shoot, short. The Karam, Cash could not box out. Karam's off and right to Kyalude at the right, but the second chance points because the Aggies could not grab the rebound uh, it's been off one, the missed three. One of those kind of nights, balls just bounced right back to him. Had It was easier to pick it up than it uh, just deflected, came right back to him off the glass. Taylor, top of the arc, 52-50 A&M. Drive, block from behind, Q going up, and Kyalude picks up his fourth. My only problem is they ball watched on the other end instead of boxing out and getting that rebound, and it came back to haunt them. The first Again, yeah, lessons learned. The right? first offensive yeah. rebound should have been theirs. <laughs> yeah, the, the, the carom, you can't do anything about no. those. <laughs> but you're right, though, and, and again, if, if you don't have the, the mega guys around the basket that are going to just be vacuum cleaners on the glass, you're going to have to do those little small things repeatedly and repeatedly. You know, this game's a tight game right now. Who, who knows how important that, that uh, defensive rebound would have been. Q makes the first free throw. Kai Lude leaves, so does Oluwakari and Hunter as Cooper, Hall, and Chatham come back in. Second free throw, Q, buries that. And now 22 for Quentin Jackson, adding to his season high. Q leaves, Boots comes on. Diara, Taylor, Hefner, Radford, Cash defensively. 10-12 left, second half, 54-50 A&M. You're going to see Marcus and Andre and Q get a blow here. They're going to be back. Boots picks up Hall in the backcourt. Looping pass ahead, Jackson Baker. At the top of the arc, loops back to Hall. He's below the Lone Star logo. Crosses over. Radford cuts him off 10 feet on the right side of the lane. Backing out Chatham. Hall wants a repost. Instead goes to Cooper. Guarded by Diara, 9 on the shot clock. Cash will take him. Cooper poked away by Diara off the knee. Turnover. What a job by Haas. He's got that innate ability to, he knows when to slap. He knows when to reach. He gets busted a couple of times with that foul, but that was a nice little reach in. And then ball deflects off his foot. Always have to know where five is on the floor, don't you? You do. Radford to Diara. He's in between the circles. Foul line extended left side. Taylor between the legs. Crossover. Dribbled it out of bounds. It's not his night tonight. Again, you got to let it come to you a little bit. You know, that's cleared side. I don't think it was designed that way. 54-50, 9.30 left in this second half. As Colin Cooper into the front court. Picked up by DR as he moves to the left side of the floor beyond the arc above foul line extended. Feed left side lane, double team develops. Taylor and Hefner straight away Chatham. Chatham's going to rifle a three and swish it. Jared Chatham came in one for eight beyond the arc, and this is a season high in threes for Central Arkansas. That's number 11. They hit nine in a game twice against Arkansas and against Butler, 54-53. Aggies by one. Now Boots goes to work on Baker down the left lane line. Cut off about seven feet away. Eight on the shot clock. Diara below the Lone Star logo. Cash sets a screen. Diara down that left lane line. Scoop off the glass. Blocking foul on Cooper. Diara to the line. Nice job of realizing the time in that situation. You know, Arkansas did a great job of sliding back in there, getting in, kind of disrupting his penetration there. But at the, at the last second, he kind of slid, tried to use the glass. He's really good at putting it off the, the window. So the Aggies in the bonus. That's the seventh. Two free throws for Diara in the act of shooting. First of two in the air. 
is no good. Haas scoreless in this game. But that was the seventh team foul on Central Arkansas. Aggies like to get to the bonus first. They did. And they're drawing fouls. Uh, the, the, the part you need is the made free throws. 11 of 18 from the line. 11 of 19 from the line. Boots offensive rebound on the right baseline. Second chance opportunity. Williams is in for Wade Taylor. Williams in between the circles straight away. Between the legs, down the left lane line. Jump pass back to Aaron Cash, top of the arc. Splits two defenders, and Cash money with the jam. Love that, hadn't seen that kind of hesitation from him, but he did and made him pay. Through the swinging doors of defenders, looping pass, Williams the steal, Williams lays it in left side. 58-53, Hall stopped by Hefner. Baker gives back to Hall. Diara with the guard. Now between the circles, eight minutes left. Cooper above foul line extended on the right side, guarded by Williams. To the middle of the floor, rolls to the left side, all this beyond the arc. 10 on the shot clock, skip pass right side. Clintman attacks on the right side. And by Cash, and he was out of bounds as he saved to Hefner, who threw ahead to Radford and possession changed, or did it? The shot clock's at 20, I'm not sure possession changed unless Cash had the ball, then stepped out of bounds. If it deflected and went out of bounds. I think he controlled no, it. So yeah, it's at five, no he didn't, so it's at five. Wow. They take a second yeah. off. Lob, Hall to Cooper above, I don't think he knows how much time is left. A deep three left side goes over the backboard. He caught that above foul line extended and then saw the shot clock, got it off in time. Well that clock didn't start fast enough for me on that five seconds. We need that on the road, partner, <laughs> sometime. It is Diara into the front court, Aggies up 58-53. He, Williams, Radford, Cash, and Hefner. 7.25 to play in this second half. Aggies up five. Diara launching beyond the arc. And switching it, Hassan Diara. He likes the top of the circle. He sure does. Abilene Christian will tell you that firsthand. 61-53, Texas A&M. Hall cut off on the left block. Kicks out to Cooper. Attacks on the left wing. Spin move just out of the reach of Williams. Hunter offset right side. Backs away. 12 on the shot clock. Screen by Chatham. Cash is there. Lobs left baseline to Hall. 10 feet from the basket, guarded by Radford. Goes to work, spins baseline into a triple team, and the block by Cash. Diara front court. Waits for the Cavalry. Haas above foul line extended right side, backs out. Williams will go to the basketball. 6.30 to play, 61-53 A&M. Williams, top of the arc. Williams, in, out, dribble. Uh, Williams, backs out beyond the arc, eight to shoot. He's got a rifle. Three is short, kept alive. Cash offensive rebound. Second chance Aggies. Williams drives left baseline, underneath the basket. Pocket pass to Boots for the jam. Again, Marcus might be the best uh, guy on the team to be able to use that peripheral vision to see people coming open. Sixth assist. And yes. Oh, and your leading scorer is Quentin Jackson with 22, and he's got five boards. 63-53, attack on the left wing by Clintman on Williams, two number ones. Rifle underneath the basket. Hall runs that right baseline and lays it in. Darius Hall, first points of the second half. Nice pass. Uh, had the defender have to split between one of two guys. He saw the guy flash baseline. 63-55, Aggies by eight with 5.35 to play. Diara down the left lane line. Diara leans in. Not quite the angle, taken away by Cash. Q fakes to three, attacks, scoops, and scores. Wise, get him up in the air, but hang time, finish off the glass. 24 for Q, a season best. Sniffing the 28, he scored against UNO for a career best. Around and out, and then on the follow, Darius Hall kind of lost his balance, couldn't follow, Q the other way. To the trailer, Williams, into the corner, Radford. Pitch and catch with a hot potato to Williams. In, out, dribble, to the right hand, down the right lane line. Kick out, right corner three by Diara, no good. Cash, another offensive rebound. Kick out to Q. 
Eyed the three, faked the jumper, now will back out. Shot clock had reset to 20. Cues in the center jump circle. 4.40 left, 65.55 A&M. Five on the shot clock. Q goes to work in the wake of Radford. Three, splash! Straight away, 27 for Q, 68.55. Cooper on the right wing. Cooper run out by Q. Hook pass out to Darius Hall. Up fake and Radford too close with the foul before the drive. Well, that was a pretty little set of plays for Quentin Jackson. Late shot clock, kind of went flat. 1-4, brought a man up to set a high post pick for him. They went behind, he just took a step back and drained the three. Is anybody playing with more confidence than Q this year overall? Uh, no, I don't think so. I don't think so. No, I, again, great story. Coming back for this extra year. Yeah. Beautiful. I said this throughout football, John. You want the right super seniors coming back. Yeah, He's yeah. the right super senior. You're right. Jackson Baker guarded by Gordon, who's on with Williams. Jackson Henderson now in Radford. Skip pass, right side, catch and shoot Hall for three. Off the heel, no good. Box out by Q, front court. Gordon on his right. Gordon back to Q! He jams it, it's a new career high. 29 for Quentin Jackson. 70-55 A&M. Hunter, no good. Henderson rebound. Williams and Q, here comes Gordon, three on two. Gordon attacks, left wing, in the paint, floater. Dances home, Andre Gordon with nine. A 9-0 run, 18-2 Aggies in the last five minutes to take this lead. Thrown away, Henderson lobs to Gordon on the right side. Dre backs out beyond the arc, down to Coleman, down the lane, fouled by Kyalude, who has just fouled out. What I like about that play right there, is first of all defense turning the ball over, getting them. I mean, that just they didn't really give it to you. You pressured the passing lanes, got it, got it. But going down the floor, two on one, thought you might be able to do the alley oop, but you have people running down the floor, filling the lane, and Henry Coleman getting into the play. A nice little hold up by Andre, waiting for him to fill that lane. First of two free throws, no good. This team does not assume nor do they ever feel they're out of the play. And you mentioned this a couple of games ago, that they'll run back on defense and they poke the ball from behind, they'll do that. And you gotta do that consistently if it's gonna pay off. Coleman misses the two free throws, but Andre Gordon, offensive rebound. Williams, Henderson, Gordon, Jackson, a career best 29. Henry Coleman, the third. Henderson sets a screen for Marcus. The switch on Baker. Williams behind his back, crosses over. Kick on the left wing, catch and shoot, foul line extended. <laughs> oh, gooseneck, a Dre Trey, 12 for him. Aggies up 75-55, 2.55 to play. Hunter loses it off the heel. Williams, it's a race with Baker. Henderson running. Williams, left hand, scoops and scores. Coming a score from beyond the arc. I agree. Lob into Cooper, 77-55 Aggies. Pulls up for three, Colin Cooper. All 12 of his points have come beyond the arc. He's hit four threes. That stops a 14-0 Aggie run. We've had some runs, haven't they? We have. Each team had an 18-0 run in the first half. The Aggies, this most recent, 14-0. Q down the right lane line, tripped. He's going to go to the line and an opportunity for his first 30-point game. He gets to join the 30-point club if he can make free throws. Obasiki, Hefner, Taylor, Cash joining Jackson, who shoots two free throws. Williams sits, Coleman sits, Henderson sits, Gordon sits. Here we go. First of two. Good. Yeah. 30 points. Quentin Jackson. Yeah, there's a club in that 30 point club he just joined. It's a good club. <laughs> well, I, I'm kind of bringing that up because I'm a member. Oh. And I wanted you, I wanted you to. Is, I had this, to bring it out myself. This, this might be the first time you've ever said it without me coaxing it from you. <laughs> you know, hey, I. I was trying to see if I could bait you into doing it, but I, you're going to bypass it. 
Hassan Diar for Q31. For Quentin Jackson. Okay, how many and against whom? 31 against Baylor. <laughs> how about that? Not that I remember. <laughs> Q and Dr. Thornton. <laughs> Drive to the basket by Elias Shameless. Cato. Shameless <laughs> to bring that up, right? No, good for him. I mean, he started the night or he came off the bench tonight. I'm trying to remember. Q came off the bench. He came off the bench. Yep. And yep. he, you know, one of his, he, we saw him have, what, a 27-point game, 25-point game? 28 against UNO. He had the 20, his first 20-point performance was that win at Alabama. Right. And for as hard as he's working, as far as he's come, and what he means to this team, what a great reward for him. But, I mean, it's more than just the 31, right? 11 yeah. of 18 is super efficient. How about four steals? Four steals, seven rebounds. Cato makes the second of two. The freshman from Australia makes it 79-59 with 2.05 to play. Taylor Obasiki, Hefner, Cash, and Diara for the Aggies. And Q has been... Next to Buzz this entire time since he's come off the floor. <laughs> Player coach now. Kind of that role, isn't it? As that leader. <laughs> he's having a, it's a one-way conversation, yeah. mainly Q. Taylor, right corner, Diara lets it fly. 4-3, Hassan Diara. Second three of the half. 82-59, Texas A&M. Olawakari white ring three. That's no good. Obasiki the rebound. Fouled on the board. Well, if, we, if, if you and I believe in a broadcaster's jinx, then we have to believe in that also. <laughs> well, we're so shallow. <laughs> he missed the second off the heel and the rebound by Ola Carey. Churchill Bounds is in for Central Michigan, and the pass is rifled behind him out of bounds. Another turnover for Central Arkansas. That becomes number 22. The Aggies just six. It's impressive. Six. It I mean, and three was really in that flurry, or two in that first half that was the 18-0 run for Central Arkansas. 115 remaining, 82-59, Texas A&M. Taylor is guarded by Hunter, who's all 12 points came in the first half. He's not scored in the second. Now the shot clock single digits. Cash comes out to set a screen. Overbound, swish, the three. For four, timeout for a substitution. Aggies up 85-59. Nobody got really excited about that three because they know he can do that. <laughs> he realized he had a big on him. And make that little jab step, get him to back up one more step, and then he does a step back and just arched it a little bit. With higher. confidence. Uh, if anybody's got confidence, wait till it. Yep. Zach Walker is in. The graduate, Zach Walker. Above foul line extended right side, Clintman. 50 seconds left, 85-59 a and It will go 11-2 in this non-conference and be at Georgia next Tuesday. Double team Walker and Cash and the reach-in foul on Aaron Cash. Dribble off the handoff and went in and jammed in a big part of the game. Aaron Janicek is in with Walker, Hefner, Taylor, and Obasiki. 40 seconds left. Cato and Clintman, along with Ola Wakari, who has the ball. Above foul line, extended left side on Walker. Straight away, Simmons, three. No good. Taylor the rebound, bumped, saves to Walker. Shot clock is off. Aggies up 85-59. Walker into the front court. No shot, just going to dribble it out. Zach will do that. 11-2 in non-conference for Texas A&M. Wasn't easy. You got a team that shot the lights out from three, but ended up making it uh, 